Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to do some scotch eggs made from scratch but these are a bit different as you can see we're going to do we're going to put the scotch into the scotch eggs and we're going to use some McSween's Scotland's most loved haggis family company founded 1953. Um, I like this one and I also like another one um, which I'll show you in a minute but for this doing the scotch eggs that might be an easier option. Um, we're going to need Eggs, we're going to do three, but we're going to have one egg for when we want to put the breadcrumbs onto the actual meat and the egg. We're going to use pork sausages for the sausage meat. We're going to mix the haggis and the sausage meat, boil an egg, and then wrap the meat around the egg, get some egg wash on it, dip it into the breadcrumbs, a little bit of flour, and then put it in the air fryer. 200, 12 minutes on air fry and then we'll see what we get we've never done it in the air fryer before again it's just something we're just experimenting with the air fryer a little bit so i just thought we'd have a go it's actually burns uh night in the uk at the moment 25th of january so that was the uh, the idea and also i got the inspiration to do this from al from spice and easy because he's done a sausage with haggis and beef sausage in, that, in, in batter. So that looks great as well. Go and check that out on Spice and Easy. Um, so yeah, so it sort of inspired me to do something with the haggis, something a bit different. So let's crack on and see what, well, let's have a look at the end result and we'll come back. Okay, so we've basically got to about a pound's worth of meat in weight. Uh, we've got, in fact, you can hear that noise, that's the uh, eggs, gonna come to a boil. Um, so the, package for this was 400 grams so literally just split it in half four sausages roughly 250 so in total is about a pound like i say in weight so all i've got to do now is take the skin off the sausages get this uh, basically ground up um i'll use like a grater on this which is a great idea as well um so you just want to bring these together so i'll come back to you when i've skinned the sausages and i've got the haggis in the bowl Okay, so you can see the sausages are in here now. Took the skins off. The haggis has been chopped up fine. So all I've got to do now is bring all this together to form the meat, which will basically go around the egg. So I'll carry on with this, and then we'll come back when the egg is ready to be moulded around. Okay, so we floured the board. I'm going to basically put this into three now we're going to do three scotch eggs so i'm going to try and do it as even as i can it's going to be quite chunky scotch eggs so let's get a knife cut through and we've got three separate pre pieces and then we've just got to mold that around the egg okay so the first thing i'm going to do is pat this down as you can see it looks like a, a burger as it is at the moment so pat that down like so. Okay, so we've got the boiled egg. Put that in the middle. And then, just got to bring it together now. And just wrap it round. And just make sure you're sealing. So in the hand, you're just making a ball. But make sure you're pinching the meat together. Okay, so now, I'm just gonna roll this in some flour so you can see we've got the shape roll in flour then we're going to roll it in egg wash and then finish it off in some breadcrumbs okay so now just really putting a coating on to help the breadcrumbs stick so that that's plenty okay breadcrumbs again just really roll it through. Maybe use two hands on this bit. Let's get it all coated on there. You can see how it sticks after you've used that flour and egg. So there you go. There it's coated in breadcrumbs, ready now to be cooked. Like I say, in the air fryer, cooking it for 12 minutes on 200 on the setting for air fry. So just make sure you get plenty of breadcrumbs on. I've gone for the plain breadcrumbs, not the golden ones. So uh, you could use golden breadcrumbs. You can use whichever breadcrumbs you want. You can even use different meats. You can just use old pork. You don't have to have a haggis. You can use black pudding. 
just do whatever you like. Well, this is just a special scotch egg. Okay, so we're at the air fryer. We're using the dual Ninja air fryer on this one, but whatever air fryer you've got. We're going to set this to air fry. 200 degrees is right. We're going to do it for 12 minutes. Now, this could be different for each air fryer. We'll do it for 12 minutes. We'll check. We'll see what it's like after 12 minutes. If we need to add, we'll let you know. But for every air fryer, it's different. It all depends on how crispy you want them as well. Okay, so there you can see. That's the Scotch eggs. So they're going to go into the air fryer now. And like I say, 12 minutes, 200. Okay, so we're at the halfway point. I'm going to now just turn these around, give them a turn in the air fryer and put them back on for that six minutes. Okay, 12 minutes. Let's see how they are now. If we need to uh, add a few more minutes, we'll let you know. Okay, so we decided an extra two minutes. So it's 14 minutes, 200 on air fry. I think that will definitely do it. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I'll pull it out and I'll slice one. Okay, so there it is, the finished scotch egg with haggis and pork sausage. And then it's just eggs, flour, and that's it really. No seasoning because I expect there'll be enough seasoning in the haggis and the sausage. So what I'll do now, I'll slice it. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. So this is the slice. You can you can hear it's crunchy. And there's. There's the egg. More than happy with that. The yolks come from this side, but that's fine. You're getting a nice runny yolk. It's got egg. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so this is a pork version. So we'll cut into this one. Same process, exactly the same on the air fryer. Let's get into this and see what we've got. There we go. Pork scotch egg in the air fryer. Like I say, this is 12 minutes this one, 200 degrees on air fry. Pork sausage meat, egg, done. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And I may just try some other experiments with this air fryer. Okay, thanks for watching.